Hey guys, Mike back here with you again. Uh, climbing back into here into the uh, Workmaster 120. We're, uh, if anybody's uh, curious like I am, we are hooking up a 10 foot box blade here. It's uh, just a regular pool type. I'm not really sure how this is going to work with the snow, um, but I've wanted to try it here for a while. So we're going to go ahead and, and take a few minutes and just see what the, see what we get out of this. So if anybody else is curious what a box blade is going to do, uh, stick around here with us. So guys, we're going to, uh, we've been doing a little bit here. I just wanted to get started so I didn't look like an idiot on camera here. Um, but it's working pretty good. Uh, the one thing about it is, is I just have to get myself a good area to go ahead and lift up, um, you know, to lift the, the attachment up there, the box blade up, and, and just kind of feather that snow out a little bit in the area. And I've kind of done it in some of these grass areas after it gets piled up. Um, and I don't know as far as like, it, it's kind of smoothing it down, so I'll, I have to look as far as is their compaction to it, and is it going to melt? Uh, we got a good sunny day, so uh, we might get lucky with that, but I'm not too sure. So we're going to, uh, I'm going to lift you guys up in the air here on our new toy. Um, I got a DJI uh, drone here for Christmas, so we're going to, we're going to go ahead and give it a shot.
just got our brand new uh, bail spike in for the New Holland Workmaster 120 and uh, just now feeding up the cows for the first time with this tractor which is nice because of course it's heated again and then with my automatic gate openers over there makes it pretty nice plus I got a little horn I like that It's definitely a big difference here from uh, from going from the John Deere 5075 to this tractor for sure as far as weight difference um, and picking these bales up man it's like it's like the bale ain't even there so I think the 1400 pounds of counterweight in the tires uh, was definitely the right move because you don't even, you don't even feel these bales and in the, uh, in the in the 5075s, I mean, I can, you know, you can definitely feel that it's on the tractor. The tractor's perfectly capable of doing it. Don't get me wrong. Um, just this one here is doing it much more, uh, I would say, much more efficiently. So we got birds being delivered here today in houses one and two. You guys see the little babies behind me. We're actually still working on it now. So we'll be filling the rest of this house up. And the guys are coming in with the Moffat nail. Uh, with each little crate there, there's 100 chickens in each crate. So today was an interesting day here in the chicken houses. We had to, uh, we actually had to do something um, that we don't like to do, but uh, had to. Um, uh, after the chickens were placed in the house, we actually had to go around and spread uh, more uh, product to, uh, to, to knock down the ammonia um, in the houses. Um, reason being, we just, we just had a, a chemical kind of fail on us here. Um, something that we we just started using here um, however i don't know that it's just the product itself um, it might just be in the conditions of, of weather um, and things like that 
you know, just kind of messing with it. So um, sometimes these things do happen. Um, the applications do fail here and there. Um, and, you know, and even though you think you're putting enough down and, and the, you know, you're using suggested rates and, and stuff like that, but, um, you know, there's, there's just failures here and there. So um, we spent most of the afternoon, well, all of the afternoon, um, going ahead and, and running in with a tractor with a, uh, a three-point spreader on the back of it. And we put down another uh, another bit of uh, PLT, a product that we use, and uh, that, that helps knock down the initial uh, ammonia smell itself, um, you know, for the health and, and well-being of the chickens there. Uh, so coming in here tonight after everything's been done, um, it's been a few hours ventilating and things like that. Um, the houses are, are perfect. So that is a big thumbs up for that. Um, you know, it's, it's really knocked it down. So we're actually going to be able to kind of calm our, our ventilation down a little bit um, so that we can keep up on heat. And then it looks like we actually have a few nice warm days hitting us here in February, which is, uh, which is always good, um, especially when you got baby, uh, baby chickens coming in here. So um, a lot easier to keep them warm and you can go ahead and ventilate even further. Uh, maybe push those limits on those warm days and we surely will do that. Um, so just waiting for feed to run here tonight. Uh, just want to fill everything up and get all our pans going and uh, we'll do it again tomorrow. We have a friend here with us tonight as I'm sitting here waiting for feed to run. You guys see that little dude? He's still a little soft. I'm not sure what's going on there. We'll check on him in the morning. So let's go in here and check on our feed as we got it running and uh, see how far we are along here. So at the entranceway here, you guys see um, this is a foot bath that we use. It's got a chemical in there that, uh, that basically uh, knocks down anything bacteria-wise that we might be bringing in and out of the house. Um, you know, just to keep uh, our biosecurity up. So we're getting there. Lines are running. Babies are kind of ready to chill out for the night. Yeah, we're really close to really close to being full here. So it's about uh it's just about eight o'clock in the afternoon here in the evening. Um, you know what I what we do is come out here and we're we're out multiple times during the day anyway. Uh, you guys have probably seen that in most of my videos that I've made uh, with you know bringing you guys inside the chicken houses here. Um, so we'll you know I come out here uh, on a normal day I'm just kind of kicking pans getting uh, getting our feed lines to run until they're full and then uh, you know we we go ahead and tuck it in for the night you know um, and then and then start again in the morning so um, just constantly checking on these guys and and really trying to get them up and going especially when they're little like this uh, we're trying to get them to, to eat and we're trying to get them to drink uh, trying to give them an extra push and, and get them up and going so um, this is this is the biggest start uh, you know your, your start of your chickens is your biggest uh, your, your biggest hurdle you want these guys to have the best start that they possibly can um, that's going to set their their growth rate basically for pretty much the entire lifespan. They'll be here um, That the same goes for any other animal that you're raising uh, Whether you're raising pigs or you're raising cows um, If you don't get them off to a good start when they are when they are babies and then bring it up um, Your growth your growth rate and your growth pattern is going to 
you know mimic those those uh, reactions that they have at the front of the of the front of the deal here so um, you know same same situation here and, and same situation out with our cows and our pigs so uh, just trying to get them up and going it looks like we're all full so we're gonna uh, we're gonna call it a night here guys um, if you haven't already please go on our channel here hit that subscribe button give us a thumbs up and uh, leave us some comments there if you guys want to see anything further um, or of course if you have any other questions uh, regarding anything that we're doing um, we hope to see you guys soon We'll be making another video and putting it out here as soon as we can.